Hello, hello everybody. There we go. Forgot to flip my camera around. All right. So, I am Stephanie with Charm Southern Home. And I am hopping on just a minute or two early here for my segment for Craft Round the Clock. So, I am going to, um, if you're watching from the very beginning, um, just let me know what you're, um, where you're watching from and uh, type hashtag replay there if you wouldn't mind so I know who is watching afterwards. And I am in Southern West Virginia and um, it's a nice sunny day here today and I'm going to go mow my yard after this. <laughs> so it has grown. We have rain, had rain. So hello, say hi when you hop on. Let me know who's watching with me. Hopefully I will be able to see the comments. I'm not sure, but we're gonna be making a patriotic craft today. So if you've just hopped on, we are making a patriotic craft. I've got some fabrics and got a little star here. I'm not sure if we'll use that or not. And I've got a tag. We may not need the tag though. Um, I meant to to grab a little rusty bell and I forgot to do that so and I don't know where I put my pins <laughs> hello Deborah hello Kathy hello everybody thanks for joining me um I hope my dogs are good we'll see how that goes <laughs> they are um looking out the window something's bugging them and hopefully they will behave and not act up while I'm on here <laughs> So we're going to make a patriotic craft today. So I have a wood board. Um, it's about 12 inches long. And then I have um, I have an old a uh, couple of old hymnals. And so I pulled out um, a page from there. Hello, Miss Tracy. Hello, Sandy. Thanks for watching, everybody. So I pulled out a page from there. I picked um, America the Beautiful since we're kind of getting into that season. Um, so we're going to... I'm going to paint this board up and put this uh, song on here. Um, I think I'm going to go around the edges of the paper, though, and kind of distress it up a little bit. But I'm going to paint the board. And then we're going to add a bow, maybe down here at the bottom. We'll see how, we'll see where it's going to look the best at. And then I'm going to make a hanger for the back and show you how I attach that. So, hello, guys. Thanks for joining me. I got some lace. So this is just a uh, from an old um, hymn book that I have. I have a couple of these that um, that I've been lucky enough to find, and um, so I've saved those. I think I'm going to first. I am going to go ahead and do it around the edges of my paper, so that can be drying while I do, while I do the board, because I can blow dry the board um, pretty easy. So um, I'm going to use this um, wax, home decor wax. I got this at Hobby Lobby. This one is called. Um, well, it just says antique wax. It doesn't really have like where the color would be. It just says antique wax. So, so we'll go ahead. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my plate. And I have a little brush that I like to use for edges and stuff like that. And of course, I straightened up earlier and I can't find anything. <laughs> so, um, I just use a little kind of little scruffy brush. And I just get a little bit of my um, antique wax there and kind of rub some of it off onto a paper towel. I don't want all of that on there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and, I don't know if y'all can see me here. I'm going to just go ahead and kind of go around the edges of this and kind of darken it up a little bit. Oh, I have already, I took my scissors I forgot to show y'all this. I took my scissors scissors after I took the book out and I just kind of went along and just kind of did back and forth like this, like this, um, on the edges of it to give it kind of a frayed look. Um, I was afraid to try the thing where you tear it because I was afraid I would, um, tear it too much. <laughs> so, so I just did that. I just did kind of a wavy, a wavy cut with the, um, with my scissors to make it look like that. So here is, you can see that. So I did this side. And so I'm gonna just go around all of those real quick and then get my board painted. So we've got a uh, bow to make too. 
So how is everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. I, If you missed the very beginning, I'm Stephanie with Charm Southern Home, and I appreciate you guys watching with me this afternoon. And we're doing a patriotic craft. It's going to be like a wall hanging, or you could use it um, as a leaner. You wouldn't have to hang it up. You could put it on the door, but it would be better if it was inside. So, you can hang it on a wall, a door, hang or prop it up on your mantle even, or on top of a cabinet. If you like to decorate um, like with Americana colors all year, it's something that you could leave out all the time. You wouldn't have to just necessarily have it out for... Um, 4th of July and Memorial Day and all of that stuff. I love to do red, white, and blue stuff all summer long. That's sort of my um, my favorite thing. I love to do like the geraniums in my pots on my porch and um, ferns and stuff like that. So, all right. So, I've got all the edges kind of grunged up there a little bit. So, I'm going to rinse that brush off. So while that kind of dries a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and paint my board. I'm just going to go ahead and paint it black and then maybe sand the edges of it off a little bit. So and I forgot to tell you, I have a link posted um, somewhere down here at the bottom of my page. It's like a little gray box. Um, if you don't want that on there, there's a little X. I think you can close it out. Um, but if you click on that link, it is takes you to my link tree, which um, has all the places where I have pages um it has my pinterest page my etsy page um what else my youtube channel all of those if you click on that link tree it'll take you and you can pick and choose which ones that you would like to follow um and you can find me there so if you have any questions about any of that let me know um, but if you wouldn't mind, if you would go favorite or like any of those, I would really appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the board. I probably don't really need to paint the middle so much. But um, just in case it's going to show through, I'm going to go ahead and do it just so the color will be even. Just in case any of it kind of peeks through there. So, so just quick and easy. You can use any board. Um have some old wood laying around this is um, a piece of wood from my daughter's a fence that my husband had built when we used to uh, try to block her from certain areas of the house <laughs> we had like a little picket fence so this is part of one of the pickets she's 11 now so I've had these for a while <laughs> but I'm just using a kind of a wider brush and I'm just putting black and this is my favorite black it is called what is it called apple barrel it's the apple barrel just the black um paint I love it it's great for lettering also which I'm not great at lettering but it is great it is good for that <laughs> so I'm just gonna go get this all on here so have you guys have been enjoying the crafters today I know there's a big event coming up tomorrow. It's going to be exciting. All the crafting going on for the celebration for their hitting the 50,000. 50, That's really great. 50,000. So I'm going to go ahead and do the size. I'll probably end up getting this all over me, but I'll do the back later. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but for right now... I'm just kind of go roughly do the uh, edges. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I want it to kind of be a little bit rustic anyway, so it does it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Hello, Tracy. We are making this a uh, patriotic craft. It's not turning out exactly what I had pictured in my mind. Once I got all my materials together, it wasn't going to be long enough for what I was going to do and I didn't have another board like this so we're we're just going to modify it and go with it so so thanks for joining me and I am in southern West Virginia if any of you missed me when I said that um, I'm in southern West Virginia it's a nice pretty sunny day um, for a change we've been having some rain which 
we needed, but now we're going to have to go mow the yard today because it's, it's grown a lot. So that has to be all the time. Yeah, it's, I had one thing in my mind and, uh, when I got everything out and laid, started laying things out, I was like, that's not going to work. But so we just go with it and change it up and all right. So that's all I did on that. And I'm, I don't know if I do the back, I'll do it later. I don't want to take the time to do that, but it's not really going to be showing anyway. And it's supposed to be rustic. So that is that. So, so a real easy, a real easy thing to make. Um, anybody can do this. I'm going to decoupage this paper, um, America, the beautiful hymnal page on here. Hello, Marsha. Hello. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate you watching. And if you see that link at the bottom, it has my link tree. If you would mind, if you would like to favor, favorite any of my other uh, channels, my Etsy shop or my Pinterest page, I would love to have you follow me there. I've been growing my Etsy shop, adding lots of things. I've got lots, lots more things to add to it. So, um be working on that so I'm just going to dry this a little bit so I can decoupage that paper on here I love this dryer I got this on Amazon it's called a uh, Ranger heated craft tool so um, I love it it does really well and it's not super loud I think it's for actually for like embossing um, but it works really good for drying your paint, too. And one of my dogs likes the heat. I'm, sure she, I'm surprised she's not over here. Want me to blow it on her. She likes she likes anything with a heater. Hello, Tony. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. All right. So, it should be getting close. All right. And let's see, I'm going to pick this, I'm going to pick this side as my top. This, the bottom had like a little notch kind of missing in it and I'm going to be covering that up anyway. So, um, I'm going to have the straight edge up at the top. And so I'm just going to Mod Podge this on here. Um, Mod Podge, I got this from Hobby Lobby. You can get it from lots of places, have it, Amazon just about anywhere. So I haven't been on here for a little bit. I was, um, out of town. And so I had to change my schedule. I was supposed to be on and then I had to change that. And, um, then I started I having, I got confused on my, on the scheduling out there and I was scheduling too many and so I was having to cancel stuff. So anyway, so I'm supposed to be on here next week also. I have, uh, I'm not sure what day I'll be posting on my page though before I come on. So, so you know, and, um, so I'm just going to de decoupage, put my Mod Podge on the back of the song paper, but I will be back on here again next week. I'm not sure what day it is, but, um, probably it's probably like midweek. So sometime in there, but I'll also be on virtual home decor marketplace Saturday night. Um, I'll be on there at seven 15. I think it's seven 15 on Saturday night and, um, we're having a Halloween special. So if you can join us, uh, at some point during the day, if you're not too busy, um, you can always watch replays as well. We have a special event going on over there on the marketplace. Crafters and um, some sales going on. But you can always watch the replays if you um, are over here watching the um, specials that are going on on Craft Around the Clock. But be something to keep you occupied all weekend. So, between everything going on, we also have auctions tomorrow on um, Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. So, if you get a chance, pop over there and take a look and see what all's going on. And we also have our regular Sunday sales on 
Sunday night and I'll be on then too. <laughs> so I am just everywhere this week. Let's see. I've got to I hold this up in the light. I can see a couple spots that I missed. So let me hit those real quick. But I love both the places. I love I love the marketplace. I love craft around the clock. So there's always something somewhere to watch. So there's never anything good on TV. We finally just, we just completely got rid of cable and I think we subscribe to a couple of channels now and that's about it. And um, so that's, I really don't even watch them that much. All right, I'm gonna put this towards the top cause I was gonna put a bow at the bottom. So I'm kinda got it towards the top here. Y'all can see. And I'm just gonna kind of press it on here. I think I got all of the, hopefully I got all the edges of it good. So there is our paper. All right. So there is, there's that. All right, so let me put my Mod Podge lid away. We are done with that. Yeah, there's just, there's not much. I mean, there's a, I think there's some good shows. You can find some stuff on Netflix and things like that. But just in general, I don't like to watch cable much. I like to watch the game show channel. And I like to watch, um, there's a few other things that'll come on that I like to watch. I like to watch like, uh, hometown and um, fixer up bird stuff like that but I like to watch the game shows I like the hundred thousand dollar pyramid um, will of fortune I like family feud so anyway I'm gonna make a hanger for this and while I've got this flat and I don't have anything on the back of it I'm just gonna show you um, I probably won't do the staple but this is how I do a hanger um, I take my piece of jute and I tie a like a little knot in it with a loop. Um, that's just the way I like to do it. So you can just cut it to whatever length you want. Just allow some extra for the for it to be down here. So you'll have plenty of string. You can always cut it off shorter if you need to after you get it done. Um, but I take the end of it and I just I kind of make it like that. I might have to pull this down a little bit more. And then I just wrap that part around and stick the loop through the hole. And then pull like that. And then I'll just trim this little tail off. And it of course went flying across the table somewhere. <laughs> So that's how I do that. And then I staple it on the back. I have a staple stapler and I always staple, let's see, yeah, staple above the knot. So when you put it on the back of your board, staple above the knot, that way when it's pulling on it, your knot will help hold it and it won't um, slide through there and come off um, and fall on the floor. <laughs> so always staple above your knot when you staple it to the back. So then I would just take this and put it, you know, kind of roughly like about right in there. And then just take my stapler and staple right here on each side above it. And it'll hold it on there and you won't have to worry about it coming off. So making sure I got my hymnal on here. I think I got a little spot where I'm gonna have to touch it up the um, Mod Podge it's didn't quite, didn't quite get it in there on my smaller brush here. I don't want it coming off. Of course, right under those edges are always tricky. Okay, press that down. 
And then my board is also a little bit uneven, so that doesn't help any. But, all right, so that's better. Have to watch replay. Oh, no problem, Cynthia. You haven't missed a whole lot. We've just painted the board and I've um, distressed the edges of my hymnal page. And so not much. We're still got some things to do here. All right. So then it's easier to put your hanger on before you have the bow. That way you can have it nice and flat. So hello, Jennifer. Thanks for joining me. I've been uh, checking the comments now and then. And I keep forgetting to look up. So <laughs> if I miss anything, I'm sorry. And I'll um, go back and check those afterwards. But I would love to have you guys follow my page if you would like to and um we'll see what I got going on there all right so I'm gonna make a bow so I need a piece of jute um I just always cut it a little bit longer just so I have plenty on there and then I have one of these let's see I'll just put that in my lap I have one of these bow bow dabra I started out when I got one of these. I got the smaller one. And it works good for smaller ones. But if you want to make a little bit bigger bow, it's hard to um, get it to work right. So you just lay your... See, here's the how it's shaped. So you just lay your string. Push it down in here. And then you just layer your bow on top. So let me think what color I want in the back. So I've got some strips of fabric. Um, this one's kind of an off-white already, and um, so I didn't tea stain these or anything. Thank you for sprinkling. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so you just take, and you just lay it in here. Leave a little bit for your tails, which you can always trim those up later. And then I just kind of go back and forth and then stick your fabric down in this notch right here each time you go across. And I just usually try to stay about about the length or about the width of the bow dabra. Um, I may go over just a little bit. You can adjust it and play with it so you get your bow the size you want. Um, but I like I like these. I can make one without it, but it's easier with it because you got, it's like having an extra set of hands to hold everything for you. So I'm gonna let's see. I think I can get one more loop out of that one and still have my tail. Okay, and it comes with this little tool here. You just push that in, you'll see, and you just kind of smash it down so you can do the next layer. And let's see, I'm gonna do, I think I'll do blue. So do some blue next. So, all right. Make sure I'm back. Let me try to scoot y'all back a little bit. I don't know if it'll work. Maybe. That's a little better. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail. I'm just going to loop my loops in here. And let's see. I've got four different ones and I've also got some lace I got this from I think this is Dollar Tree Dollar Tree lace um, it's real pretty I use it in a lot of my stuff um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a layer of that in here too I'd be better off if I just bought it in bulk from them instead of just one here and there all right and then we'll cut that off so I've got my layers, I've got my, my white or my cream, my um, blue, and then I've got my light, I, lace, off-white lace. And I'm going to put some red in here. So I just went ahead and cut these strips. Um, I don't know, they're about an inch wide, roughly. They're not perfect. But that's the idea. They're supposed to be rustic looking. I'm just going to layer that on top of what I've got here. 
So I'm working my way from the back to the front. So what's on top is going to be the front of it for me. And I think that's all I'll do for that one. I'll have to trim up my tails later, but it's okay. All right. And then I have another blue one. I might put a little bit of cream. I might put another cream one. And then do my other one. But this one, this one I just cut it and ripped it um, instead of trying to cut it. So it gives it a little more rustic look when you rip it like that instead of cutting it across. But I love making these. These are fun. All right. And then I have this. And these, most of these, I think the cream one I bought at Hobby Lobby, it was like in a um, remnant, in the remnant section. And the rest of these, the homespun uh, pieces, I got those from Jubilee Fabrics. They have a website, Facebook page and website and where you can order. And they have lots of collars of homespun fabric, um, Christmas, fall. Um, all kinds of different colors and their shipping is usually pretty fast so um, if you need some homespun and you can't find it in your local stores try them it's called Jubilee Fabrics um, they do really good and they have lots to choose from I think a lot of these that I have now I bought like a remnant bag from them like a mystery bag and I got all these ones that I would normally use anyway. So it worked out really good. But they have those specials once in a while on there where you can get like a bag of like remnants and different sizes and things. So let's see. I thought I had a bigger one of that, but. I need a bigger piece. So here's my other, I'm going to just cut a piece off of this for time's sake. I'm just going to cut it. So has anybody started decorating for summer yet? Are you guys doing, um, what kind of decorating do you guys do right now? Since it's getting close to the end of May, I'm, I've got like uh, sunflowers and ladybugs on my front door and a wreath that I had made a long time ago. Um, and I need to go find my geraniums in the garage <laughs> and get them out and put them in my pots because I still have my tulips out. But I need to switch them. All right, and then I'm going to put a little bit more lace in the front. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I love I love um, Jubilee. If you need homespun, and they sell patterns and things like for the rag quilts and things like that. They have other things on there too. All right, so this is a big old bow. So I've got all my layers in there. So then you just take your um, your string. You could even use another piece of fabric if you wanted to. You didn't, wouldn't have to use a piece of jute. And then you just tie it. And while everything's held together nice and tight for you, you can put your string on there and voila. <laughs> just pull it out. All right. I'm going to tie it in a knot just so it's just so it's good. And then I can bring it around to the back and tie it. So, and I will probably just hot glue this to the board. And let's see, I've started your bumblebee stuff ready for June to start your Americana. Oh, okay. Yeah, bees are real popular too. I've got um, a couple bee items that I've made this year already. And so bees and ladybugs and... Whoops, that was my dog's head. <laughs> Bumped the table. <sighs> Anyways, so 
So here is our bow and you just keep fluffing it until you kind of get it, you know, placed how you want the ruffles and everything where you want it to be. Um, I did have this little wooden star that I had cut out. I don't know. It may be too big. I don't know. I think it's too big to put it in the middle. Um, I have some rusty bells. I may pin a little rusty bell in there. Um, not sure. We'll see. I'll see how it looks without it. And then, of course, your tails. I want to, I don't want them all completely even, but I want to make them a little bit more, a little bit more even than this. So, you trim up a little bit. I'm just going to eyeball them and trim them like that. So, all right. That's a little bit, a little bit more uniform looking. But here is our bow. All right. So then here's what I was thinking would, that I would just put it down here at the bottom like this. And then I done buried my, my string and then I'll have my string um, staple to the back and be able to hold it up like that. So, but that is, I need to, oh, I turned, didn't turn my glue gun. All right, let me let my glue gun heat up. I forgot to turn it on. Anyway, so, the other way I was going to do this, I'll give you an idea what it was. Though, if you want to do one like that, you can. And if you make one of these, I'd love to see a picture. You could use any song you wanted to. It wouldn't have to be Fourth of July uh, or patriotic. You could use any any song or poem or a picture, anything like that, and then um, just make your bow to match. But what I was going to do, if my board had been long enough, I was going to take my fabric and I was gonna kind of wrap it like a package and wrap it like this at the bottom. And then I'll always like to cover it in the back like that. And I would just fold it up kind of like a present and then I hot glue it on there. So I was gonna just make a pocket like that, which I guess you could, but I didn't wanna hide the, all the words um, in it. So, so I didn't do that, but um, make a pocket like that, hot glue it on there. I had a flag. I had it all planned out in my head. <laughs> um, but I was going to just stick the flag in there and have that and then stick some greenery and have that in there. Um, so that's another idea. If you have um, a longer board, that would work. Or a shorter song. <laughs> Some of the songs that I've got in this hymnal are um, only like a half a page. So that would have worked if I had um, been going to do that. So. so did I paint the white pot with the beehive? The white pot with the beehive. Oh, behind me. Yeah. Over there. Let's see. Nope. Over here. Yeah, that. I did paint that. That's hand painted. I painted that. Um. It's an enamel, like a, like a chamber pot thing. It's got a lid on it. And yeah, so that one's painted. So I haven't, I don't, honestly, I don't think I've ever used a transfer on anything. I've never, I've seen other people use them and they're really pretty. Um, I just have never, it's not something I've ever really tried. And I just remembered I was going to put some, um, what is this stuff called? <laughs> My mind always goes blank like that whenever I am on here. I don't know why. Raffia. I was going to put some raffia in my boat and I forgot. So I can still do that. I'm just going to tie it to the back of it. So always keep it in a bag to try to keep it contained if I can. So it don't take much, just a couple pieces. And then I usually fray it and um, I'll 
put them like together like that, kind of even. And I'll just take my fingernails and just kind of shred them a little bit so I have more pieces. I like the way it makes it look fuller like that. And then you have the different piece, the different sizes of all the pieces. So have you guys made any, um, hello, hello, Brenda. Hello, Vicki. Thank you for joining me. You have a chamber pot just like that. Oh, they're easy. It's, I didn't paint the back of the pot. It's just, um, got the one side, but, um, that way if you don't want to have the beehive decor out, you can always flip it around and, um, use it just the plain, the plain side. But I love to paint on things like that, different objects and stuff. So, all right, I've got some raffia. Yeah, I like that much better. Not sure if I can make the loops. If it's big enough. All right, so when I do it. I make a loop like I'm going to tie a shoe and then I do it like that and then I just kind of adjust, adjust it. Um, I was going to put that on the back though. You don't really see that as much, but I glue it to the back and um, I should have put it in the bow dabber, but I forgot about that when I was making. I forgot I was going to add that. So just kind of pull it, make it a little bit wider. And you can add it to the back and have it poking up through the top and out the sides. And then you have some hanging down at the bottom. So, and I like the way that that looks. So I've got lots of extra there. So I'm just going to tie it with my extra string that I had on here. And. So do you guys, what else do you guys like? Thank you, Tracy. What other crafts do you guys like to do? Do you guys, do you just watch crafts or do you like to do other, other thing? I know some of you guys are the crafters on here. I like to paint. I like to, uh, sometimes I like to sew. I have to be in the mood to do that because <laughs> sometimes it stresses me out. Um, but I like to, um, Decoupaging is kind of a new thing that I've been doing. I haven't really done that a lot before. And then I like making the rag bows. They're fun. Make them in all sorts of colors. This would be in a good, um, well, Mother's Day's over now, but this would have been a cute Mother's Day craft too. You could have done, you know, something, maybe a song that your mom liked or something like that. And, um, Made a coordinating bow. Make it as a gift. You could still do something like that for Father's Day. It wouldn't really, I wouldn't think that this would be too much of a feminine um, craft. It would be, you could get like maybe a song like your, um, maybe your dad's favorite hymn or something like that. And maybe do a coordinating uh, bow. Maybe add some little embellishments in there. Um, you can get all kinds of charms and things like that at Hobby Lobby. Um, like little fish and stuff like that and you could coordinate it to um, to their decor and it'd be a great Father's Day gift too but this one we did America the Beautiful so if you missed it um, I used an old hymnal page that I had you could probably find something online and just print it off um, I went around the edges I kind of Cut the edges kind of wavy, and then I took my wax, my home decor wax, and a little brush, and just kind of went around the edges, um, kind of buffed it on there. Um, I painted my board black. I left it a little rustic. I didn't cover every single spot on it. I wanted it to be like that. I'm going to add the hanger on the back of it, and then we made the bow. And I used the bow dabra and this, I got these on Amazon. I'm not sure. I guess Hobby Lobby probably sells these. I'm not really sure. Hello, Diana. Um, but they have this one and then they have um, the smaller one. And here's the mini one. 
um, this is the one I started out with, and then I graduated up to this one. So, <laughs> so you can see they're quite a bit difference in the um, sizes of bows. That if you if you want to just make little bows for different things, this one would be great. Um, but I got to where I was wanting to make bigger bows, so I got the bigger one too. But that's about all I've got for today. Um, hello, Donna. Thank you guys for watching. And um, But if you wanted to do the little pocket thing, maybe get you a little bit longer board. This one was 12 inches, and then this was a whole page in the hymnal. Um, so you would maybe need it to be a little bit longer so you can make the pocket. You could take a podge, you make signs, angels, all different gnomes out of different things. I like to watch the people, um, people make the gnomes and they make them out of some of the things that I would have never thought to use. Decoupage is your favorite. Um, you like vintage, bohemian, grungy, and farmhouse style. I love farmhouse style. Hello, Darla. And, oh, thank you, Brenda. Yep, these are, these are fun. And then you can hang it, um hang it inside you could hang it on your front door as long as it's not going to be like in the sunlight or the weather um where it would fade it or get it wet or anything like that but cute you could even if you're artistic you could even maybe draw a little picture over top of the the page i am not great at free handing stuff like that on the spot so <laughs> i'm not going to try that so <clears throat> but it would be cute with even maybe draw like a little church or something on there but I am not, I'm not good at that under pressure, so I'm not going to do that. So, thank you for sharing, guys. I appreciate it. I have some of the things I've got behind me here, things that I've painted. Um, the pot there, I'm trying to, everything's backwards to me here. And the Halloween stuff, I'm have, having a sale on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace on Saturday night. I am on it like 7.15 Central Time, I think. And so I'll have some of that stuff available then. And um, so if you're not busy, feel free to come hop over and join us over on the marketplace. We've got a big weekend going on. And I know there's also a big weekend here on Craft Around the Clock. So maybe you can bounce back and forth. If you're in between people, bounce back and forth and check them, check them both out. Lots to do on there. So... Alrighty, guys, I will be back next week. And um, if you guys have any requests or suggestions on a craft that you'd like to see done, feel free. You're welcome to message me. Um, I'm always open to ideas. Um, and if you message me now, that'll give me a couple days to figure out what to do and get some supplies if I need to get anything. So I will see you guys on Marketplace. Um, Saturday and Sunday, and then I'll be back on Craft Around the Clock next week, um, one day next week. So, thank you guys for joining me. Be sure to refresh your screen for the next crafter on Craft Around the Clock, and I'll fix the link up in my description so that you can find that easy if you don't belong to that page. Um, it's a really great page with lots of crafters, and um, it's amazing how so many um, people have so many ideas. Um, every day and everybody has something different. So have a great day, everybody. And I will see you again in a few days. Bye everybody.